supernova. Nah, nah, man, that's a black hole. Yo, yo. Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. Tonight, it's the Houston Rockets as they'll be playing against the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, it was the Bucks winning their last game against New Orleans. They've put a stop to that four game losing streak and are looking to add another to the win column tonight. Well, the Bucks had teased it during the playoffs and finally it's been revealed. Uh, so, what do you think, Shaq, about the Bucks' new logo? Well, it's a, a, a sexy transition from red sexy. to gold. You know, it's pretty cool. The secondary logo, and I know this for a fact, it incorporates the state of Milwaukee. I know this, Ernie, because you're from the mean streets of Milwaukee. I so. am from the, but it's a city of Milwaukee, not well, the state of well, Milwaukee. State the city, state of Wisconsin. You know, same thing, Ernie. You know what I'm talking about. I, I, I did grow up on the mean streets of, of, uh, of Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah, it, that deer kind of looks menacing now instead of, like, from a children's book. So I'm a little nervous. So it doesn't look like a deer in the headlights. It doesn't look like a deer in the headlights. I don't know if not my the 10 years and under are going to like this new deer, but That's everyone deer? 10 years over going to love it. That's a, the bucks. Oh, you know, I thought fear it was the an deer. antelope. Fear the deer. You I know, it was an antelope. It's an yeah. antelope. The it, Milwaukee antelopes? Antelope, deer, moose, same thing. They um, all got tentacles or whatever you call them. Tentacles? No, they those. don't have tentacles either. Antlers. Oh, they antlers, antlers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You know what? You are totally dialed uh, in on the whole Milwaukee franchise. I don't watch the Animal Channel that much. Yeah, I see that. Obviously. Yeah, no okay. question. Here's Kevin Harlan who's got the call. <laughs> tentacles. <laughs> tentacles. <laughs> This is 2K Sports, broadcasting from Houston, Texas, as the Rockets take it to the hardwood. The Bucks will end the road trip here before heading back to Milwaukee. Challenging part of the schedule, and this is where they need to buckle down and take care of business. You know, the trip they've got in front of them, as long and as difficult as it may be, could be a launching point if they come through it successfully. I mean, those long trips can oftentimes, when you're on the road, be momentum builders for you. Yeah, and it's also a time when they can come together and start to build some chemistry. Because if you get on a losing streak, clearly it can go the other way and be demoralizing. So let's just see how this thing pans out. Now the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Filling out the wings, it's Middleton and Antetokounmpo. Monroe is out there at Parker, and it's Gill in at the one. Beasley the screen, a good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game. You know, getting the ball inside early. And it worked to perfection, Clark, on that possession. We'll see how that plays out in terms of being a big part of their game plan. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. Beverly dishes to a reason. Powered up on top. Down low. Here's Beverly. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Gill kicks to Parker. Pass to Gill. Shot from the top of the key. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. And Beverly kicks to a reason. Howard, the pass to Harden. Back to Howard. Six on the shot clock. Parker against Ariza. And that one, no good to start him off on the night. Last outing for Houston, it was a loss to Denver. And listen, you have to take advantage of the freebies. And on that night, they did not. And that is why they just could not recover. Exactly. I mean, they left too much cheese at the foul line. And in the end, it mattered on the scoreboard and cost them. That doesn't go either for Ariza. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. On to Takumbo, dishes to Freak. Shot 
misses. And it's Houston the other way. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going in this quarter. No doubt that is within his range. Well, I would hope so. He's a pro, and it was only a one-footer. Come on now. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Yes, Kevin, I was able to catch up with the head coach for the Rockets just a moment ago. This is their first matchup of the season against this squad, and he knows the shot blocking in the middle will certainly be an obstacle. But he said, quote, we've got to remain aggressive and continue to attack. Guys, he said that putting their bigs in high pick and rolls and shooting the open jumper with confidence will be key. We'll see how they do. Wonderful, Doris. Thanks for the report. You know, I, I think he's right to be concerned about the defense they're going up against today. I mean, it's going to take some creativity for them on offense to be able to score consistently. I think that's their primary concern. I mean, they'd be fooling themselves if they said scoring against this D is going to be easy. Harden draws the double. It's Howard with the drive. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Charity stripe shot, and that one's good. Gill. I tell you, he has some impressive moves in his repertoire. That's as good as it gets, but just one of many. Pass to Harden. Rebounded by Greg Monroe. Milwaukee in the lead. Let's go. Hit some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. And it's six points for Freak. So for Milwaukee, their last game, a win against New Orleans. And the deciding factor in that one was their success from the floor. I mean, they just hit big shots time and time again. Yeah, just the way you want it when you're the road team. Don't even give the fans a chance to get into it. Now here's Freak following the miss by Trevor Ariza. Here's Monroe. Makes it off the glass. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Now here's Beasley. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And Beverly kicks to Howard. Kicks it out to Ariza. 20 feet out. And the jumper falls for him. Trevor Ariza. Bucks call timeout. They can't guard us on the perimeter. It's spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. Substitution here for Milwaukee. Plumley is checked in for Monroe. Thomas Robinson comes in for Parker. Jared Bayless is checked in for Chris Middleton. And Michael Carter Williams subbed in for Gill. Now here's Carter Williams. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Bayless. Here's Plumley. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Plumley's got his first points in this one. Rockets trail. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. The dynamite pair of Anadokounmpo and Parker at forward. Jared Bayless is out there with Gill. And it's Plumley in at the center. And Anadokounmpo gets it to go. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Poke loose and stolen by Freak. Goes up, throws down the breakaway jam. And how about a little bit of showmanship there as he increases the lead? Oh, I like that. That's got to be, though, a tough pill for the defense to swallow. Well, he's a guy that you know can hurt you with his passing. And right there, he does some damage with his finishing, too. Now the Bucks moving it up. Bayless's shot is off. Well, he won't miss many of those. Especially with the defender not in the best of positions there. A floater. And with that, the Bucks lead has cut down to just four points with a bucket from Beverly. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets, Greg, resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. Now here's Freak coming off a stellar performance against New Orleans. Ande Takumbo kicks to Freak. And a great assist by Ande Takumbo as that one goes in. Gill's got the lead up to six now for Milwaukee. 
second quarter. We're a little over a minute and a half in. Now the pass to Capella. He drops it in from 11 feet. Freak with it. He's got 10. They set the pick. He feeds it to Antetokounmpo. Just four to shoot. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. It's been a tough goal for him. Just an uncontainable game for free. He's got ten points and the two nice steals as well. He looks like a man among boys right now. On another level at the moment. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Bucks. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage the in the paint so print. far. And also, defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Howard's checked in for Capella. Beasley comes in for Booker. And Trevor Ariza's subbed in for Wright. Beverly against Gill. Two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. It's Beasley on the wing, covered by Parker. Clock at four. Takes the 13-footer. No good. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. The defensive backboard has been controlled. They have not allowed a lot of second chances. It's been about one and done for the most part. And I'm not talking about leaving college. Yeah, I know you're not. That's a, a bunch of good rebounding taking place there for him. A chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Pelicans really lit it up. He ended with 25 points, and he was just about on target from everywhere, hitting from deep as well as sinking his free throws. The cherry on top for him, in addition to his outing, was ending the losing streak his team had been suffering through. We all know how big those moments can be for a team, Kevin. All right, thank you as always, Doris. And another special game from a player that we know is incredibly capable for this team. Yeah, and he proved his value again in that last game. I mean, he's a cog in their machine, no doubt. Yeah, and they're going to need a few other players to lend a bigger hand today. I mean, they can't expect him to carry the entire load two games in a row. Moment here now for an injury report. Let's find out the news on Patrick Beverly. Doris, what's the update? Hi, guys. Head athletic trainer for the Rockets provided some information for us. He told me that it doesn't look too serious. The schedule becomes a real grind at this time of the year, and that injury is only going to make things harder on this team. Guys? Well, thank you, Doris. Hopefully, we'll see him very soon. Well, they like him back as quick as possible, but they also want him healthy. in for Corey Brewer. Milwaukee also making some changes. Thomas Robinson comes in for Jabari Parker. And it's Carter Williams in for Gill. On defense, Milwaukee. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Here's Mayo. Drops in the breakaway layup. Mayo's got his second basket of the night. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now here's Harden. He's coming off a 25-point game against Denver. You know, and in watching that game... 
And so that brings the first half to a close. The Bucks on top, leading by nine. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke, standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, James, throughout the first half, you struggled with turnovers. Is keeping better control of the ball a major focus for the second half? Uh, yeah, that's still too many turnovers, uh, especially on forced uh, turnovers. So we got to really lock in on our, on our turnovers, make, a, make the right play at all times. James, we appreciate the time. Guys, over to you. Thank you so much, Doris. Great interview as always. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back with the second half of basketball shortly. All right, guys, focus on me. We got them where we want them, and we can quiet these fans down even more if we pay attention to a couple of key things. They look absolutely helpless out there to contain our low post offense. And the more that continues in the second half, the more beat up and dejected they're going to be. On the other hand, I was happy with the pressure we put on them with our D and the steals we got out of it. Let's keep that heat on them. And in terms of pace, I'd like to see us calm it down once the third gets started. We shouldn't be in any kind of rush. These guys did not see this coming, but now they know what they're up against and they're gonna come out angry. Get ready to go toe to toe with them and cap this thing off. And now the third quarter about to get going. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. Yeah, and he's the ringleader of their offense. And, and what we saw in that first half with his ability to keep everybody involved is the reason why they're playing well. And that's just the thing. I mean, he knows how to share the sugar. He makes sure everybody gets a touch, and that keeps the offense balanced and productive. Harden and Ariza filling out the perimeter. Beasley out there with help. And it's Beverly in at the one. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Monroe's shot is good. Monroe's got the first points to start out the third quarter for Milwaukee. Rockets trail by 11. Harden outside. Beasley the screen. Harden draws the double. Shot off a pick. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive, and it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Gill, the pass to Middleton. Here's Monroe. It's rebounded by Houston. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Beverly with the ball. Out defended by Freak. Beverly dishes to Hart. Rebound by Monroe. Monroe's got his sixth rebound on the night. Onda Takumbo kicks to Monroe. Gill the pass to Monroe. Dishes it to Freak. Lock at six. Feeds it to Middleton. Here's Parker. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Parker's got six points. And really, it looks like he may just try to take this thing over on his own and really build that lead up. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Here's Beasley. Bucks foul. Stay down. Stay down. That's his first personal foul. <laughs> for Houston, they have shot three of six at the foul line. Michael Beasley. Two shots. No good on that one. Corey Brewers checked in for Houston. And he sinks the second. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Now here's Freak. He's got 14. 
inside. No good. Rockets trail by 10. Brewer is just a hard. Howard with a screen on Middleton. Passes it to a reason. And there's the call on Howard. That's his first foul. That's good for Marisa on the assist by Harden. Milwaukee leading by seven. And here's Freak looking at his point production. He averages almost 11 points a game. On to Takumbo, kicks to Freak. Rebounded by Howard. Yeah, good tough D there to get a hand up and force that miss. That's example number one of why he is Wonderful. such a strong defensive player and why he has such a great defensive reputation. The Bucs have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Harden against Gill. Got a piece of it. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. And he gets it to go. And now just a five-point Bucks lead. Their second half has started quite well. They've been good on three of their first four attempts. Here's Gill, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. Over the last 10 games, Kevin, you can see where the Bucks rank in the league stats. First and fewest turnovers per game. First in opponent points per game. And they're ranked third in field goal shooting. This team has a lot of weapons, and guys are not afraid to share the ball to get good shots. And, you know, going back to their turnovers, fewest in our league, that shows you the intelligence they play with. You have to beat them. They are not going to do it for you. That one falls for Gill for the Rockets. Capella's checked in, and it's Trevor Booker in for Trevor Ariza. Thomas Robinson, he's checked in for the Bucks. Carter Williams comes in for Chris Middleton. Gill hits them both. Rockets trail by seven. Here is Brewer. Five points in the game. Here's the screen. A shot by Harden. Wide open. And again, the Rockets good for two. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. And so he draws the foul on the shot a trip to the line to shoot two. Yeah, just nice strength there and then just off with the shot. Boy, with all the contact he drew there, Greg, that would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. The Bucs shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That one is off. Jarrell Wright's checked in for Michael Beasley. The Bucs also changing it up. Plumley is checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Jared Bayless subbed in for Gill. And he hits the second from the line. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Now, here's Brewer. He's guarded closely. He dishes it to Harden. Kicks to Brewer. Here's Booker. No good on the three. Bucks leading by six. The feed to Bayless. There's the dish to Robinson. The Buck shooting has been great, up over 50%. In fact, 52%. On the floor for Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. Gill, he's in its shooting guard. 
Ande Dekumbo out there with Chris Middleton. Then it's Greg Monroe, and it's Carter Williams in at the point. Now, Freak. He kicks it to Carter Williams. Middleton on the wing. Pass to Carter Williams. Three on the clock. Buries it from three-point range. Carter Williams has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Milwaukee. Carter Williams against Harden. Henson a screen on Carter Williams. Screened by Howard. Ariza has the open look. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but uh, he couldn't capitalize. The shot by Carter Williams, nobody around. Off target with the open look. Baseline J on the way. The rebound by Middleton. Middleton's got three rebounds now in this one. Here's onto Takumbo, and they cash in right away with the quick shot. And the Bucks lead by 16. Clark, they've shared the load offensively. Yeah, they've done a nice job with it, Kevin. Everybody's touching the ball. There's a nice flow to what they're doing offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react. And that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. <laughs> And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Bucks. Boy, they're hounding, harassing efforts at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And also, I've been extremely impressed with their interior D. Their rim protection has been as good as it gets. Patrick Beverly, he's checked in for Houston. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Parker's checked in. Beverly against Gill. Here's Harden on the wing. Pass to Howard. Ariza outside. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. And 12 points for Ariza. With the success they've been having from the three-point line since halftime, I'll bet you that scoreboard starts to look a lot different real soon. Partner, that's assuming they can continue that hot shooting. But if they do, and especially if they can get a few stops, you have to think they'll make this thing interesting. Here's Parker, shot clock at five, and he can't bank that one in. Rockets trail by 15. And Beverly gets to a reason. It's good. Drop that basket, he's now five for nine. Man, he is just really in a flow right now. That field goal percentage has gone through the roof. And it's sent back by Howard. Here's the teardrop. Rebound, Milwaukee. Middleton's got four rebounds in this game. Parker outside. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. And the shot is good. I love the killer instinct he shows right there. Exploding to the rim to add to the lead. We got to be more physical on defense. They are getting to the middle of the floor way too easy. Get into them on the perimeter. Posts, rotate over and make your presence felt. Quit being so soft. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin. Well, the Rockets coach had some advice for the... ...way out. Show me what you have. Let's see if we've got what it takes, guys. Monroe against Howard. Here's Beverly. Another miss by Houston. Milwaukee leading by 15. Outside, out of the combo. To the paint. Here's Monroe. And it's sent back by Howard. 
And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Milwaukee, timeout. We got to be more physical on defense. They are getting to the middle of the floor way too easy. Get into them on the perimeter. Posts. Rotate over and make your presence felt. Quit being so soft. Middleton left side. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Middleton's got four points in the quarter. And, and that kind of sums up the defensive effort we've seen here tonight, guys. Beasley the screen. Beverly the pass to Harden. Trains the three-pointer. My goodness. How about the degree of difficulty on that shot? When you're hot, you're hot. And he is absolutely scorching. Gill. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Their prowess inside has been tremendous, guys. I mean, it's been no contest down on the low block. And until the defense puts up a little more resistance, they ought to continue to pound them down low. Here is Harden. Beasley with a screen on Middleton. Harden dishes to Beasley. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. At the line for your Rockets, Michael Beasley. And he makes the first. Easily hits them both. 152 left to play here in the fourth. Freak with it over in the corner out of the Kumbo. The Rockets pull it in. Now here's Beverly, and here's Harden for three. The rebound by the Bucks. Parker's got his third rebound on the night. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Bucks. You're right there, Steve, in one area that stands out that uh, we've seen tonight from them. Clark, their aggressiveness in getting steals, something I know that you really value yourself. Well, it deflates the opposition when you can be pesky defensively, and then it sparks your offense and that's what happened for them when you have the type of effort we saw tonight it. it's, it's hard to overcome that kind of defensive pressure and so this will mark the 15th win of the year for them and so they'll take the first game of the season series a team they'll only see twice they're certainly happy to start it off with a win and that next meeting greg will be their second and final game of the season series being in opposite conferences so you bet nobody wants to get swept even in a two-game season series i think the next game will be highly contested I mean, when you look at the stats, you'll see just how dominant a game this was. Poor Freak. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. They set the screen. Monroe's shot is good. And you can hear the disappointment in the crowd tonight. But we saw a team that was just ready to do battle in this arena. They clearly wanted this road win. Crystal clearly. They came in here determined to steal this game, Greg. Their effort level, I thought, was outstanding, and they just took care of business. And that one is good by Beasley. Well, that was like a warm-up shot there, a warm-up jumper. No problem converting that one. And here's Freak, and so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it. Really an outstanding effort all the way around. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in.
Now we'll head over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, who's not too far away. EJ? The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Hi again, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time now to present our Jordan player of the game, Freak. Well, he reminded us all of how dangerous he is as a slasher. He drove the lane time and time again and got points inside to show for it. An explosive, hard-charging performance. I loved it. Seeing Freak dominate the way he did tonight reminded me of watching him play in high school. He was a man among boys. He was a four-time consensus All-American back then. Overall, great game. And folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night.